Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about virtual condition and maximum material boundary or MMB, which uh, it's also called the boundary shift. So um, what is this? So virtual condition, let's first talk about virtual condition because we need that for MMB. Virtual condition is the boundary generated by the combined effect of the MMC limit size of a uh, limit for a size a feature of size and uh, any applicable geometric tolerance. So the total effect of MMC and geometric tolerance is going to create a virtual boundary, a virtual condition for a shaft, a pin, anything like that. And let's talk about it and see what's the use of that. So here, if I have a shaft, and the dimension for shaft is 25 plus 0 minus 0.2 and you have uh, basically a straightness for the axis and it's uh, 0.1 right at MMC what does it mean it means this shaft when it's made to its maximum size which is 25 if it's made at MMC which is 25 you still have room for 0.1 on the straightness Okay, so if you consider this axis, right, between two straight lines like this, this gap has to be uh, less than or equal 0.1. And since this dimension from here to here is made at MMC of 25, so the total, basically, uh, size for a mating envelope, right, for a, um, a go gauge, basically, right, if I have... A hollow cylinder right like this and uh, this shaft is to be inserted to it the size of this inner diameter has to be at least 25.1 right for this go gauge so this shaft can be inserted okay so we say really the size I need is not 25 it's 25 plus 0.1 of geometric Tolerance. So you see for a shaft, the virtual condition is going to be the MMC plus what, in this case, plus that geometric tolerance. Now, what if it's a hole? If it's a hole, let's say here, <clears throat> I have two of these holes at diameter 30 plus 0 and minus 0.3. So MMC for a hole is the smallest size. So it's going to be 30 minus 0.3. So MMC for here is what is basically 29.7. Okay. Now here we say if the hole is made at MMC, if the hole is made at MMC, then for position of the center of it, I have room for 0.5 error in the center. Okay. So what does that mean? means if I want to make a pin or maybe attach the pin to a plate like that and this pin is again a, a go gauge pin right so this is a go pin and I want this pin to be inserted into this hole then what should be the diameter right what should be the diameter of this pin so you might say well 29.7 is the maximum diameter that you can have because that is the smallest uh, hole size that you can make but this is assuming that the hole that you are drilling is perfectly drilled at this basic dimension of 35 what if it's not right because you have room for 0.5 error. So basically, you can be 0.25 off to this side and 0.25 off to this side. So if instead of this hole being made right here, it is made like this. So it is shifted for that much. Then what? Can you still insert the pin? No, here you're going to have interference. Or... On the other hand, if this pin is, uh, if the hole is drilled 0.25 to the right, so it comes here. Again, can I insert it? No, here I have interference. 
So if I want to make a pin that always will be inserted, I have to look at the intersection between this case and the other case that was something like this. And the intersection between them is this area here, right? Something like that. It's an area like this. This should be something, let me make it a little bit smaller. This area here should be really the area that the pin can be inserted, and I'm sure that there will be a cavity for it there. And how much is it? Well, this 29.7 is the worst case scenario for the hole, the smallest hole. But remember, I can have 0.25 on each side off. So you have to subtract the total of those two, which is 0.5, from the 29.7, and you get what? 29.2. So this maximum diameter of the pin has to be 29.2 to make sure it is always going to go inside the hole and clear it. Okay? So you see, for a shaft, the virtual condition is what? is MMC minus the um, geometric tolerance, okay? So keep that in mind, and I mentioned them here for you. So this is a virtual condition. So virtual condition is really the collective effect of the size using MMC here and a geometric tolerance, whether it's a straightness, whether it's perpendicularity, whether it's position or something, such that if we make a test, a testing gauge, like a go gauge for it, then this dimension, this virtual condition dimension, will be the dimension of that testing gauge, whether it's the hole or it's the pin. Okay? Now, let's go back and see one of the places that... Um, in addition to this test, uh, the testing that I mentioned above, uh, it can be referred to or used to is what we call maximum material boundary or MMB. Well, what's the difference between that and the MMC, maximum material condition? I'll show you right now. So take a look here. Here, I have this orange part that I'm going to make. It has two holes in it. And uh, in this orange part, uh, A, datum A is the bottom datum, but datum B is a feature of size. It's this hole, so we're talking about this hole or the axis of it, right? So here, your datum B itself is a what is a feature of size okay so when we use a datum as a feature of when we use a datum feature of size like a hole or a pin and you tolerance that with some geometric tolerance for example perpendicularity as you can see here b axis uh, b has to be perpendicular to a with so much of what perpendicularity tolerance if made at mmc okay so here, B, here, this whole B can be drilled, but not perfectly perpendicular to what? To A, it can tilt a little bit when it's made at what? At MMC of 15.1, you only have a wiggle room of 0.2. If you go all the way to 15.5, then you have 0.2 plus the difference between them, 0.4. You can go and tilt up to 0.6, okay? So here we have, again, a uh, datum feature of size that itself is toleranced with respect to another datum, right? Like here, this perpendicularity thing. And this is how we define B. Now, in another part of uh, your object here, this other hole, this hole on the right, you are positioning, you are applying a position tolerance for the right hole with respect to both A and B. But here, as you can see, I have two M symbols in this feature control frame. 
one the meaning of it is clear that's your maximum material condition right which determines the amount of error that you can have in the position so basically it says if you made it at 10.1 uh, at mmc the position error for the center of the right hole is 0.3 if you go all the way to 10.5 then you can be off by 0.7 right that, that is clear that is mmc the new thing we're going to talk about is this other m that you have applied to a datum not to the tolerance zone Okay, so here when we talk about maximum material boundary, we are talking about what? We are talking about this modifier that you have applied to the datum, not to the tolerance size. What's the meaning of that? So this is what I want to explain to you. And in the beginning, it was a little bit hard for me to digest it as well because I looked at so many websites and... Uh, even the uh, ASME uh, textbook and everything and uh, the explanations most of them were not that clear and there was one uh, technician who explained it very well and he said really what this one is as I'll show you is a boundary shift so let me tell you what it is and why is it why is it a boundary shift so let's see um, what's the meaning of that so here I want to test it, okay? I want to make a go gauge or a couple of them, a couple of pins on a plate. And I want to test this part with these uh, go pins, go gauge pins, right? So uh, the question is, the center to center distance is, of course, uh, we try to make it as the basic uh, the center to center distance on the orange part. But the question is, what size of pin on the left pin and on the right pin, what size of pin should I consider? Well, you say, I use this virtual condition I just learned. For the pin on the left, if B is made at MMC, which is what, 15.1, it can be uh, not perpendicular, it could be tilted with point two off and here since it's a hole so the virtual condition for it is going to be mmc minus this uh, geometric tolerance so 15.1 minus 0.2 is 14.9 so if i make this pin on the left at most 14.9 i'm sure that it will be inserted into what into datum b good so now datum B is uh, basically simulated. Basically, this is going to be your what? This is really your datum simulator in this case. Okay. It is uh, fitting into pin B and everything is good. Now, what size of pin should I consider for the right size? Again, here I say the MMC for the hole on the right is 10.1. I have 0.3 wiggle room, so if I subtract it, 9.8 should be the size of pin on the right, and everything is what? Good, huh? Now, what happens is, what if, what if I made these pins the same size and everything, but what if, you see here, I have not specified anything on what? anything on uh, basically the angle here right i said this guy can be off by 0.3 and that is basically this part here and this part here each one of them is like 0.15 so 0.3 is the total width of those red areas and uh, it guarantees that the pin can be inserted now what if this um a hole on the right is also not drilled perfectly perpendicular to A because here we just controlled its position, not the orientation for its axis. So could this uh, hole on the right be drilled a little bit uh, at angle with tilt? Yes, it can and it happens in real life. So now if I have this um, gauge that I had last time, and it could easily, 
basically uh, pass the test if I made those size of those pins with those numbers. Now here, because this hole is, although you clearly see it's bigger than the pin, if it's made at tilt, now the same size, the same shorter pin is not going to be able to uh, go completely through the hole. It's not going to be cleared because these walls are tilted and you have some interference here, as you can see. So what am I doing by adding this extra M to the B? Here I'm saying, hey, if this uh, hole is made what? At its worst case scenario, which is the smallest size. So the hole is like made this, right? It's, uh, exactly the size that the datum B is just marginally cleared, then the position of what the position of uh, this uh, axis here could be off by uh, 0.3. Okay. Now, when this hole on the left is not made for datum B, is not made at MMC and made a little bit bigger like what it is, uh, what does that give me? This extra room that I have for datum B, right? What does it give me? Well, in this case, you might say, well, should you have the axis of the pin and the axis of hole B, should they be aligned or am I allowed to move this part a little bit shifted to the right? So in this case, you see the axis of the statum simulator pin and the axis of hole B are not perfectly aligned. I'm allowing my datum B to shift, right? Yes, as you can see here, this one with respect to that is like to the left or this one is to the right. I'm allowing this to shift and that brings this hole a little bit what? Uh, sorry, the a pin brings the pin a little bit to the right. So now, if you look at the walls of the pin, will definitely pass through the walls of the tilted hole. And I can say in this case, it will be cleared and it will pass, while in the top one, it will be rejected. So here, this uh, made, making this datum B, which itself has some wiggle room right it can be made a little bit bigger or smaller right instead of making it exactly at 15.1 maybe you made it at 15.3 therefore here you have a 0.1 and a 0.1 on each side extra and that allows this uh, pin for the right hole to be shifted able to shift it 1.1 to the left or right if that helps with clearing this hole on the right. So that's all this uh, second M does. It allows the boundary of B to be what? To be shifted. I'm saying this point three for position is what? Is only when B is made at what? at the uh, maximum material condition but if p is made in uh, bigger than maximum material condition bigger than it's the smallest size then i can have what i can have some tilt or you might say maybe it's not tilted can i have more room for this point three this point three that you can be off in the center could you now be a little bit more off? So maybe this time the hole is made perfectly vertical, but instead of being 0.3 off with respect to this pin, right? Can this deviation, let me bring this axis a little bit this way. Can this deviation between these two now be a little bit more than 0.3? Sure, because um, not making this hole at B, the datum B at uh, the MMC, is allowing for a little bit shift. So all this one does is giving more room for inspection to pass apart and not necessarily asking them to align these two axes. 
So hopefully this explanation was uh, clear to you. Again, I tried hard myself to grasp this material and pass it to you in an easy language to understand. So hopefully it was useful to you and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.